Hey, my wild and crazy golden ear peeps, it is I, Lala, back again for another extravaganza of a video. Now, my Milani uh, from start to finish was a hit, and that was just warm my heart, and I got so many comments, and one comment was to try L'Oreal from start to finish. Now, I have done some L'Oreal products mixed in, but not a start to finish, and I'm finding these are, this is so much fun. So, L'Oreal it is. I had a few things already. I had their uh, True Match makeup, so I had that on hand. I had the, their lipstick. I will show all of these and list them in the products below. And I had a Age Define a powdered blush. Oh, and I had a, a brow liner, brow liner, a brow fill pencil. What I had to purchase, because what I look for when I'm gonna do a, a, a makeup tutorial from start to finish is primer. That's what I like to start with. And this primer here has got a long name. I'll list it for you at the end. But it has niacinamide in it, and it's red. It's got, it's green, but it's red. it helps tone down the red. And as you know, I'm using Smashbox, if you followed it in any of the videos before. But this is, this was one of the most expensive. I think it was $12.97, but, you know, it'll last forever. And I've already applied it, because I like to wait at least three to five minutes after I've applied primer before I put on the makeup. And it did tone down the red. I go for a very hydrating makeup, and this is, I've talked about this before, True Match by L'Oreal, and it, this is an N6, and I put it on with a sponge because of, you know, my age. Shake it, shake it, shake it really good. Ah. All right, I'm gonna put a pump. Let's see how it is. I have had too much coffee, sorry. All right, not too runny, so I'll put my little thing in there. And I'm going to go like this. I always start here on my nose and cheeks. That's usually where I need it the most. I like to get it on my lips too because it helps with the liner application. Well, this stuff, see, it's just so creamy. Airplane! Airplane, sorry. Got a lot of airplanes today. I use makeup as a concealer. I have discolored eyes. So I'll use just a little dab what's left on there. Don't forget the ears when you got short hair. I didn't get my neck, so I'm going to do another half pump. Because less to me is more. I don't, it seems like a lot when you're going through this, but I'm talking too. <laughs> I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. We have fine lines and wrinkles. <laughs> what do you think, ladies? Oh, I, love I just love it. I think it's a fabuloso makeup. All right. So next, what I usually do is my brows. So I have this Maybelline, Maybelline, L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer, and this is in ash brown. Good, so I'll take my little spoolie off. And this is one of those that kind of self, what do you call it, self-sharpening. Okay. So I have a little sparseness, yeah. Okay, so I really, this one is always, even though there's a lot of hair there, I, it just, my, the tattoo is like, hello, I don't want to. But yeah, I'll have to do a um, brow tutorial. People put these stencils on and try those. Uh, I didn't have any luck with there. I had, I think, one up here and one down here. This is what my brows look like before I got them tattooed. They are over plucking. Then, since I had put makeup on my eyes, um, let me look. Because sometimes it settles into the fine lines. So I just, I still have this Milani powder. I've moved things all over. This is a, this is a professional. I'm a professional at nothing. Okay, so I'll take the little powder, dab it well in there and shake the excess off. And then I'll just go over lightly. And I just keep it, because I have a lot of lines. Yeah. Now I will be ready to put on my eyeshadow. Let me show you this eyeshadow. This one is beautiful. Nude Intense La Palette by L'Oreal. Oh, I'm getting the glare. Let me do it this way. Ooh. Take brush out. And these, these are, I've been doing, the other one in Milani was more of, a, of the terracottas and peaches. This is more nudes with a little bit of, pink in it and purple. So I thought, ooh, how pretty. So I have my purple shirt on. 
it says, of course I talk to myself, sometimes I need expert advice. All right, so then the, the key is to get a really good brush to apply the first coat. And as you know from the last video, I use three colors. It's just easier. Sometimes you only can use two. I'm trying to find that brush. So this is a little flat one. And I, I, I'll link the set that I got it in. I like to wipe it off because you can get them good cheap. So let's see the colors that I have on. Let me let me start with this one here. Can you see it right here? It's kind of a plum right there. I'm going to take it with my big palette right here. I'm going to go like this in it. Nice and easy. Shake off the excess. And let's see, because I'm doing this the first time with you. So... These are lovely pigments too, They're very pigmented. And I always go over my eyelid, try not to go too far in if I'm paying attention and not talking. And I do the, on my brows, see? Mmm, very, yeah. Okay, I'll do the other side. Try to match them. Okay, uh, you know, I, a lot of people when they do these tutorials, they do just one eye at a time. And that's probably what I should do so it doesn't take up so much time. But I'll go ahead and do it on this side. You know, you'll notice too, one, si one eye is always easier. Like Frankenstein eye. <laughs> okay, see this one looks a little darker to me. So I am going to turn it over and take off some of the excess. Okay. Now I'm just going to work on one eye. So next, the next color I want to try is going to be the plum the, or purple dark. So I know that they're pigmented, so I'm going to be very careful. And I have this little fluffy brush that I just love. It's so cool. And so I'm going to dip it in there very easily and start in the corner. So make sure it's not too dark. Just kind of do... I like to just do here. See, I'll bring it in too. It's really hard for me to see on my little camera, but I do just kind of a little V. And see, I have creases, so it's wanting to sit in those creases. Even though I put a powder on it, maybe I didn't powder up there. Okay, and then we clean it up all later, but that's, so you just, you want to look at it like this and look down. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I just, I don't want a whole lot if I feel it's just too crazy, you can always take it off. I have my Fluff Fluff McGruff brush. And I'll just do it like that. See? So I'm just adding barely any. It's just a little depth. I put that in my eye. Uh, I wanted a little depth. So, because I don't like real contrast. Some people do. Some people like it light and then really dark in the corner. That, I guess, is a nighttime eye. I'm doing my daytime eye. What I take is a, a highlighter color. And I'm going to take this, the white over here, right here, it's white or cream, and I have a little brush like so, because I want to be more precise where this goes. I like this little pointy one. <laughs> That's what it's called, a little pointy brush. All right, I'm going to dip it in that, go like this, and then I do the corner. See, I have that big dark cavern. And so then I just take it in this corner of my eye. You see? Mm -hmm. it just, it's real subtle, you know. And some people, some people like it more, you know, real bright color, but I think it's 66. <gasps> Which I'm going to be 67 in a month. Shh. I can't say 66, pick up six. 67, I hope get to heaven. We'll see. All right. So I said that helps give you a little bit of uh, covering up that uh, deepness, <laughs> that deep socket. And then I like to take my finger, and this has a little glitter, this little right here. Okay. I'm just going to do my finger in it like so. Like so. And then I'm going to dab it on the center. See? Just to have a little reflection. I was going to do the other eye too, but I'm not done with that eye. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now I'm going to do the other eye and be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I finished this eye somewhat. 
I, I love the colors. I, I just love the colors. Very, very pretty. Fits my skin tone, I believe. Uh, I used, I'm going to show you on this eyes. This is the um, Infallible L'Oreal Paris Eyeliner. And I primarily use eyeliners for my waterline. So I put it on this one and it's gray. I didn't realize I'd gotten gray. So basically, as you do with any, you just make sure that the, that the pin is out. And then you just follow your lash line. You want to get up in the lash line, not so much in the water line like your eyeball, but try to get at the edge of your uh, lashes. See? Lashes. And I like to come out a little bit on the end. I'm going to take my finger and drag it up. All of this stuff can be cleaned up afterward. And already, just like the Milani one, it's transferring down. Even though I was up more on the uh, eyelash line. Don't blink. Okay. And then I got the telescope. Because I like, I ha I like my uh, lashes to just be long and turned up like a telescope. So this is in waterproof. Uh, let me see it right there. L'Oreal's telescope. I already did it on the other eye. I'm not sure. I like how thin that is. Because for me, it helps pull my lashes up. But I'm not sure. I think I like the Milani ma uh, mascara better. So now I'm going to take my little, this little separator thing, because I did this one, and I notice it looks a little clumpy. So I try not to poke your eye out. That's a very important thing. And then I will do another coat. Very thin. Okay. Paying attention the second time for the end of your lashes. And at the end of this, too, I'm going to compare the Milani makeup with this one side by side. So that's, that's the eyes here. We'll have to clean it up now. Okay. So I am going to take, now you could take your, I am, I'm going to take a little bit of my makeup here, put just a teeny, teeny dab on there. Okay, my little cleanup thing and put it in that makeup. I've got to turn this over because I've got a lot of fallout over here. So I want to, I want to do that and I do it right in the corner and then I come down to where I can see more darkness more darkness. Yeah, I need to take my little fluff fluff McGrush again. <laughs> McGrush. Good. Now, where my glasses are. You know, this, this primer has really worked for that little divot in my uh, nose. For where my glasses go. Hmm. I seem a little glowy. I love, as I've told you, my blotting papers. This just happens to be 24-7 oil control. I don't, I don't know who it's by, but you can just grab some. And I like to put it on. See? <laughs> and take up the excess oil because I like this to pull up the oil first and then you put a powder on to keep the shine down. That's just how I have found it's worked for me. I go over with those blotting papers before I powder anything. Then I'm going to take, right now, my Milani that I had from before, and I'm going to take my Fluff Fluff McGruff brush for my face, which is this one, a big fluffy fluff like that, and dab it in there, and then shake the SF. <laughs> Jeez. Stereo for me bought. Okay. All right. Just to go. Now see, I think it's great when you blot first, because then you need less powder. I don't want to be, I don't want to be shiny, but I don't want to be matte either. I want to be somewhere in between. All this talking is making my mouth dry. Water. Not vodka. Man. Now, I did my and put on the powder. Now I'm going to go for a bronzer. And I picked, 
uh, this L'Oreal True Match Lumini Bronzer to medium. Hey, hey pretty. All right now I take my, because I use it, I have a, you know, a, a, it's like a contour brush because I contour with this too. So I'm going to swirl it around the girly girly gumdrops. I'm going to try here. Might be too light for contouring. I don't need a whole lot. Okay. Because some people do this. Doesn't hurt. Let me look up close. Oh, that's pretty. And it has a little luminous, little luminousness in it. So then I will go on to my blush. Now this is Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. Very, very pretty. Like a mauve. I like to take this is, I, I had one, I don't know what I've done with it, is more of a slant. But this is smaller and it's good for blush. So then I'm going to swirl in it. And I like it just on my bananas. Right up here. You can do it like that. Because I already have red cheeks. Make sure you smile. Ooh, that is a pretty color. That's pretty. I go right here and there. <laughs> yep. So there I've done that. And the only thing that I have left is my lips. I wear, uh, I like to use City Lips plumping lip in, in, in either clear or a, the real light pink. I put that on in the morning after I brush my teeth, gives my lids, lids gives my lips a little plump. And then I wipe it off before I put on my lips. And where's my, and I, as I said, I like to have a little makeup on my lips because it helps with putting on the liner. So now the liner I got by L'Oreal is called L'Oreal Color Rich Matte. And this is in Matte Gifted. Matte Sturmid. Jeez, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> It's a lighter one. So turn this up as we as I showed you what I do with my lips is I will go on the bow, Cupid bow first. This is kind of a I guess it's in it says. I'm not sure what the color is. They didn't have I, I prefer plums, but I'm also trying to go go a little bit to the uh, light, uh, like a peach plum, <laughs> a light brown, I, I don't know, we'll have to work on that. Okay, so then, I like to go, because I have very tiny lips, so, I go around the bottom, and then I kind of pat it in. This lipstick that I've already had, I love L'Oreal lipsticks. I'm just sold on those. This is 857 L'Oreal Color Rich Sun Wash. So when I say it's like a sun wash, but it's it's got a little bit of the, it's not all peachy, but it's not all, it's got my plum in it. Let's see. Usually what is a good idea is to use a lip brush. Okay? My nose is itching. And then I dab it in there like that. And then I can, yeah. Okay, so this, it does match this color. Okay. And then I'll go on the top. Try not to go out. I always go like this. And then once I've got it where I really want it, I will take the lipstick again and go over. Okay. What do you think? 
I mean, I like the I like the makeup very very much. So, but I really like the Milani too, and I think in the long run, so far Milani is the winner as far as being more of a budget budget friendly. But the makeup, you know, I love the eye makeup. I think L'Oreal is lovely. It is more costly. The the palette that I have here um, was. $16. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. You don't need to spend $50, $60 for an eye palette. This this one by L'Oreal is fabulous. The one by Milani. This one by Milani. I'm trying to get the glare out. Is beautiful pigmented colors. This is a size I was looking for. I appreciate everybody coming on board and, and giving me comments on things that you would like to see. If you would like to see me work just on the eyes more, uh, try different eye ways, <laughs> eye ways, try different uh, ways to apply eyeshadow. I mean, I, I could use creams. I'm learning. The more you do this, the better you'll get. So please, everybody, just jump in and you can have a marvelous look at a day. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week. Give me suggestions on what else you would like to see. I'm digging it. All right. Lala out.